we are in the traditional food stuff and there's no way to make it trendy. It's from passed down from olden times. Hi, hello, I'm Kelvin. I'm the second generation owner of uh, Jixiang and Kukui. We specialize in making Ang Kukui. It's a traditional pastry from uh, Fujian, China. It literally translates to red tortoise cake. Red is for prosperity, the tortoise is for longevity. We've been doing this since 1988 in Everton Park. And today we are at Bugis. This is our second outlet. Angku Kuef is more like an offering. You know, on the offering table when you do prayers or events for maybe baby first month. But over the decades, we have made a name for ourselves. So it has evolved and become a tea time snack. So we do see more customers coming to us for Angkukwe for tea breaks, for the pantry, you know, for own consumption, rather than just coming to us during the festive period. The whole process of the Angkukwe is uh, very tedious because of all the prep work that's involved. So the three main parts of the Angkukwe would be the banana leaf, the pastry skin, and then the filling inside. When we talk about the banana leaf, you actually need to wash it, you need to dry it down, and then you cut it to the right size of the mold that we are making. The next step you have to prep for the filling. The most traditional one would be the mung bean. We make our filling in-house, fresh from raw material. So we need to soak the mung bean. Once you soak, you have to steam the mung bean. Once it's steamed, after it cools down, you have to mash it up. Once it's mashed, you have to cook it again with sugar and oil and banana leaf for the fragrance. After you cook, you have to cool it down, then you have to divide it into the portions that we use to make the angkukwe. Then it's ready. So every step I say takes like a few hours. Once you get the banana leaf and the filling ready, so we normally do it a day before. So when the workers come in, in the morning, we have a fresh pastry dough. You mix up the fresh pastry dough, then you start the molding. Yeah. So the molding process would take you quite some time also. And that's where a lot of uh, the labor work also comes in. The dexterity of the auntie, the, the speed of the auntie, all, all we have to monitor. So once you finish the molding, then you stand for steaming. Steaming is actually quite fast because you just need to cook the pastry dough. Uh, the filling is actually cooked. So after you you cook, you steam the kuih, then it's ready for retail, then it's out, out you go to the packaging area. Throughout the years, you don't see a lot of new Angku Kuih shop popping up because the process of making an Angku Kuih is really too tedious. Our direction here in Jixiang is to embrace the tradition and to educate the public. It's very sad for me to see when people trying Angku Kuih for the first time, they say it tastes like mochi. I have a little dream of mine is in the near future when someone eats mochi, they will say it tastes like a kukui.